Hey man, this is Chris the Phone Cats, and here's one of my all-time favorite games. I guess I'll do a play of it, and you know, we'll see if uh, there's good response. If so, I will try to beat the entire game, which I wasn't even able to do. I ended up rage quitting. Okay, so I just beat the first world, and yeah, that little dude right there was an ink wraith, and that's what mask I'm wearing, or what hat I'm wearing. There's tons of hats in this game, they know what's up. Okay, let me just get you familiar with the controls right quick and tell you that you can scoop this up for $3 and it's well worth it. If you're a Zelda 1 fan, you'll be in love with this game. Left side moves you around, this button dashes, and then this uh, does a charge dash that does damage and freezes and dodges uh, like magic attacks too. And you have access to spells. That's Acid Cloud and there's tons. There's all kinds of gear. You're going to get different swords and stuff, and different swords are going to give you different uh, special abilities. Your gear and clothes give you different drop rates. Drop wraiths. That's like a terrible pun for this game. Oh no, they have a dash attack. I really expected those to turn into multiple wraiths for some reason. Oh yeah, getting that chain zap. And look, a dead end. Welcome to... Welcome to Mage Gauntlet, Gauntlet Mage? I already forgot the name of the game, damn it. And I'm already lost. Um, this just comes with the territory, okay. A heart container that will skip. And that looked like a dead end. This game is so damn tricky. There's all kinds of like alternative paths. I don't even know why I'm going over here. What is this? Oh great, bone skeletons. All for a timer. Oh, it gave me haste, so I run a little bit faster. Let's see if I can even get a nice return on this and make it to where I was before. Oh yeah, so glad I got that haste. <laughs> that did nothing. It did nothing. Oh, that's great. But yeah, you can slice up bushes. You can, um... You can use their own tools against them. Oh, cool, and it stuns enemies for like a hot second or two. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a playthrough of this until uh, it stops getting likes or comments. So do that if you want to see this alive. There's definitely going to be a wall, though, much like in Sword Ego, when I got to that fire boss and it just became way too daunting. I did a whole nother 30 minute video that I'm definitely not uploading because it's so embarrassing of me just playing and dying at that fire boss again. What's this sign say? Forget reading. That's what it said. That's what it said. Ah! Oh, didn't have full charge. <sighs> the first time that I played through this game, I would spend... Oh! I would spend all my time doing the charge dat, the charge, just charging through the levels. And yeah, because it would get to the point where <laughs> I was like running away from the enemies instead of actually fighting them. I wish I could kill that. Each little world has three parts to it and then a boss fight. The first boss fight was pretty tame and yeah, you can enjoy that on your own without any spoilery aspects of it. And I definitely recommend picking up this game. Um, these guys, Rocket Cat, do have another game that just came out called Punch Quest, which is the best Endless Runner that I've played in a really long time. Um, they just do a great job of making you want to keep playing it. It's, it, it shouldn't even be called an Endless Runner. Like, it's so much better than that. Get out of my way, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that! Speed run! Oh, haste is dope. Oh, Whitebeard. There's a great storyline. It's great. I'm not going to read it to you. That will be one of the many things that you can enjoy on your own. Oh, fake path. Fake path. Oh, a chest. What you got? What you got? Don't even know what that is. Broken, it still emits an odd ticking noise. Make time circles appear extremely frequently. We'll send that to wardrobe. I'm not even going to equip that. Don't even know what's circling around me right now. I 
All right, that's it for round two. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, just couldn't trigger that. All right, so this is stage three of this level. It's only like the second or technically third world. The first one was just storyline investment. So that's why they're a little quick. Oh no, that door just locked behind me and we got our first Ink Wraith Fatty. Sword of Fury? Whoa, so dope. Very Zelda 1-y. Do I even want to mess around with these little wiener bots? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, that Sword of Fury was very short-lived. But don't worry, I just got another one. I'm kind of... Yeah, kind of wondering if I need to be killing every one of these enemies in a desperate attempt to level up as high as possible so I don't hit a wall in terms of gameplay difficulty. But at the same time, I don't want to be... Look at that pro moves, man. I don't want to be, like, making this vid super long or tedious. I feel like this is a nothing path. I really do. Oh my god, see, I'm already turning into the dash player that I was before. Great, now I got three rounds of boss ink wraiths stacking up behind me. They don't even care. They have like no aggro, or they're not even like uh, akin to like red units in WoW. They're very passive. Alright, looks like we're sprinting onto a boss if this is even the right path. You're predictable, but you got high hit points. Jesus. Man. Those are not even worth messing around with. Read a note. Uh. Chain zap. Oh, exactly what I wanted. Like a shaman's chain lightning. Hit them both. Definite path that way, but I'm going to dodge it. Take out some measly ink wraiths. Spam a sword of fury. <laughs> As I hit nothing. Yeah, I need a better sword. Fighting that one ink wraith that was the fatty was not enjoyable. Heart? No, nothing. I crit on a barrel. Okay, and there wasn't even a boss on that one. That's fine. So that's the first world. That's more of like a tutorial and explaining stuff. Whoa, whoa. World 1. World 2, which I just played earlier. World 3 were these uh, rune crossings, and now I have access to either one of these. Orc Forest or the Borderlands. Borderlands. Alright, that's it for this vid. Thanks for watching, Funkettes.